Hey everyone, Tim Gresh here, professional bike fitter in Southeastern PA. And in this video, I'm going to discuss my modified kicker bike sizing cycle. I've had uh, a number of people reach out to me with questions about this. And so I'm gonna show you what we did here to make this my sizing cycle. Now, first off, what is a sizing cycle? Well, basically, you know, as a fitter, typically what I do is uh, someone comes into the studio and I'll use my main platform with their existing bike, and that's where, we'll, where we will carry out the fit. But in a lot of cases, we need to use a sizing cycle to do all sorts of adjustments that we can't do on their existing bike. And that'll range from designing a, a, a new bike, like a new custom frame, um, for me personally, this is something that I use a lot for testing different crank lengths. So the modification we did on this kicker bike was adding sizing cranks. So that's what I'm gonna show you here today. Before I had this set up, I had kind of a dated uh, sizing cycle. It was like a, a steel sizing cycle with on like a, that I modified and put a Wahoo kicker direct drive trainer on it for resistance. But what I wanted uh, was to use a kicker bike for sizing because this is, uh, you know, intended for indoor riding, like you would have it at your home and do Zwift on this, but it's highly adjustable. Uh, you know, you can adjust your, you know, with these little levers here, just kind of turn that and we can move uh, fore aft uh, seat position. We can also do the, the same in the front. We can do bar height pretty much everything that you need in order to achieve a position very quickly. The one thing we don't have is the ability to do different crank lengths. The bike does come with four lengths, so it does have that, but they're like the common sizes. We need more than that. If you've, if you've seen my channel, other videos, you know, you know that I'm, I'm very big into uh, finding the right crank length for each individual. Uh, on top of all that too, just with this setup is the whole unit has the ability to climb up, so I can actually kind of change the relationship of gravity when I'm fitting somebody and you have them angle up, like they're going up a hill. That's nice to see sometimes if I wanna say, test a shorter crank, have them go into a hard gear and then angle them up and just see how that looks. Uh, there is virtual gear shifting, and that's the other cool thing too, is that you can like shift your gears, you know, go into a hard gear, get out of the saddle, and kind of really put it through the paces. So um, that's what made this like a really cool project. So let's talk about what we did. Um, and now first off, let me just address, um, people that have reached out to me about this have asked, do I have instructions on this? The answer is no. Uh, I don't have like any parts for sale, any intention to do that. Uh, it was just really like a one-off project. Now, again, this is the crank that comes with a kicker bike. And actually my kicker bike is over here. So this is what it looks like when it's all together. So you essentially have this crank with a spider and then you have a large chain ring, kind of a belt drive. When you take off this, this whole compartment, there's a bunch of electronics, there's a belt drive and then a giant ring for that belt. So the job was to go ahead and take the purely custom sizing cycle crank or sizing cranks, which is purely custom is a company that makes sizing cranks and I've been using these for a while and they can do anything from a 185 to a 130. And you just simply turn a little set screw here, press in this, and I can adjust any crank length I want, lock it in, tighten this, bada bing, bada boom. I'm at a different crank length, do that to the other side, and I can very quickly test out different crank lengths. So we needed to get an adapter that would allow this to go on to the belt chain ring. So my mechanic, Sean, very fortunate to have him because this is not like my expertise. He has a 3D printer, he has the know-how. So he designed this adapter right here, which essentially is sort of like a spider that it's like a, it's like a I guess it's kind of like a double spider maybe if you can think of that. It would uh, allow the purely custom spider to attach and then have separate holes for the chain ring to connect to. And we put this all together. We thought it would actually kind of hold up, but it didn't, I got like 20 miles into a Zwift ride, really pushing it hard and it snapped. So 
then we knew that the design worked. We got aluminum and we basically just machined this thing out of aluminum and that's what you're seeing right here. The kicker bike does have a threaded bottom bracket, like a standard BSA threaded bottom bracket. So had to kind of figure out like what spindle length to put in here for a square taper. The purely custom cranks are just a square taper designed crank. So you had to get the correct square taper spindle length to fit in there so that the belt drive ring was kind of like positioned in here side to side and not like rubbing. So that took a little bit of trial and error, but we got it all together and it works good. It's a little loud, kind of like when you move the side to side here, it'll kind of have like a clunking noise. That's one of the, a number of reasons why I don't have instructions on this because it's not gonna hold up if you're, if you're doing this for like day-to-day -day use. It does the job as a, as a fitter, but at some point I'll move on to a different design. But for now, this has worked out really well. I had one of my customers, Bob, in here. I did a video on it where we had him try different cranks and we used this whole setup for that. Uh, and it was good. Oftentimes when I'm doing a fit over here, I can actually kind of eyeball and know what a customer needs in terms of crank length. I'll pop over here if we're like, oh man, like do we need a 150, a 155, a 160? Just compare them. Uh, Cause visually, and I'm a very visual fitter, I wanna look at like how stable their pelvis is. So I'm watching them back here and seeing like how much they're rocking with each crank length. And typically I can kind of tell which one clicks. Also taking the feedback from the rider, like how they're feeling. Uh, and they can usually tell like which one clicks for them as well. It just kind of feels good. So there you have it. The kicker bike modification sizing cycle. Uh, really cool project. Uh, as a fitter, sometimes you just gotta kind of build your own stuff. Uh, as a direct observation fitter, you're looking at stability and balance and watching riders under load. And there's just certain things you wanna see and it's not always made for you. Like the fitting tools aren't always available. A lot of times fitting tools are designed kind of around like a more static measuring, video capture, motion capture, um, not really looking at like the rider from all perspectives and under high load. So anyway, I'm gonna stop going on and on about this. Thanks for watching and please like, subscribe and enjoy every ride.